Harper wants to keep running. The side will put it down, but it only takes the Agassi model VP. Great clear as well with the Dragon Slave. Stun potential as well. As I say, sets up for maybe a Starbreaker. Gonna be an Ember Spirit though. Okay. So some catch. But yeah, no, it, it's gonna be. Uh, maybe trying to get this pull through before he goes down. We'll get that pull through off. Disruption, Shadow Poison stacking up. So when, yeah, Starbreaker comes through, but he should still go down. Four points into the poison. Stops Nico maybe before he can get the Lucent Beam, before he can get the damage on Tomero. Another dive in with Celestial Hammer. Now this time, the right clicks. Yeah, Stormerman will be able to Stormerman. Three onto him once again. One more should be able to cinch it. He's trying to go for the fifth, but he's still going to go down. Gonna try and re-engage. Maybe Tornado is gonna connect onto both heroes. Ego is gonna be coming through. Nico Baby EMP. We stunned it by the cold snap now as well. Nico Baby not gonna be able to get himself away from this. And now the chase is on to Stoneman. Stoneman can he get tower? Will go down. Luna in the jungle. Ego is gonna be coming in with the EMP now as well. The tornado, the cold snap coming through onto Dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker once again. Stoneman is he gonna be able to get himself away from this? Stoneman gonna try and close that gap. Gets the celestial hammer off, but well, not gonna be able to close the gap because of that disruption. They might change targets, but again, the shadow poison illusion just doing so much damage here. Noob, they should be able to get the return kill onto illusion. Illusion gonna try and deny himself to the neutrals. It's not gonna go his way. And Nico baby does pick up that kill three times. Killing spree going. Or do they want to go? Nightmare is going to be toggled off here. Stormerman will be the target. Coming through with the cold snap. Even the urn. So he's not going to be able to get that Celestial Hammer away. There's just too many procs with the stuns coming through from the Centaur as well. And they find that kill. They take the tier 1 tower here. No monkey business. Two creeps. So they can't really overcommit. And now the rotation from Alliance. Mayro Snowball comes right into his face. Spirit Siphon the Crypt Swarm now as well. Ew, the roar comes out. I think they'll have to do the damage to take down in return. Yeah, Mayro from the grave takes down Symmetrical. But Noob will secure the kill. Retrograde coming in now as well. Onto Aramis, into the boat. Now got a snowball to get himself away from that now. This time, as Retrograde, one more right click, claims the kill. For the side of no monkey business. Super fortunate for the side of Alliance. Speaking of, Stormman, going to be locked down. EMP coming through. Was that Cold Snap Spirit Vessel coming through now as well? They're even going to use the, the Fiend's Grip for this. And Igor. And again, well, the Black Dragon's still here, so three heroes now are going to reveal, but there's five heroes around for no monkey business, so are they going to try and make a dive? Noob, Phoenix Grip comes out with the raw on top of the Phoenix Grip. That's an interesting choice. Sounds coming through from the Death Prophet. Is he going to be able to keep Noob alive? He's trying to dive himself, but he has to dive. No Forge Creeps coming up for him. No Forge Spirits now as well. Stormman just has to move. He's going to be purged. He's going to be slowed out now as well, but the Hex... He's going to be locked down. Is that his own piggy pole? It is his own piggy pole, but it's still the damage coming through. Point blank snowball. It's not going to save Soberman. And now they might even be able to take down Aramis as well. Retrograde gets another. I think they got the vision on him there. Do you want to be going though? Because it looks like they actually want to push up into the top lane. The boat's going to come through, trying to use the essence trick to keep himself alive for your death prophet. As well as the solar guardian. They get the, the stone in now. But Symmetrical, can he get himself out of this? He goes trying to run himself away as well. The cleave damage. The right click damage onto Symmetrical. One more. Retrograde will pick him up, gets the double, takes down Aramis there as well. And they might find a dive here. Oh, they get the reveal into Retrograde. Retrograde, though, he does have the BKB. Is he going to be able to get it off? Because that's going to be the Eclipse being dropped. He does get the BKB off the Phoenix Rip now onto the Luna. It's going to be the Soul Guardian. It's going to be enough to keep him alive. It looks like the Nico baby. He's going to be able to get himself out with the BKB near. Even the Stoneman with that Torrent up does stay pretty healthy. Forces out an Eclipse, though, as well as an Exorcism. Boat oh. might actually be the Conker. If the Conker picks this up with the Tidal Wave. There's going to be so much more control on the side of... Oh, yep, picks up the Aegis. Has the uh, the Agnum Shard there as well. Up onto the high ground. Celestial Hammer does come out. It's going to be a little bit... They've got the rod. They're going to be able to go into Symmetrical. It's just magical. Stunned up the entire stun duration. They get the kill. Backlines. Noob Tornado. It's going to be the double Tornado as well. Onto Aramis. What can they do with the Shadow Poison? Meteor gets dropped. They get themselves a godlike spree here on Retrograde. Silver Edge of his own. But timing-wise, you can see he's about one big item behind. Oh, the torrent. Are they going to be able to get the timing right on this now as well? Nico Baby doesn't want to use that BKB, the purge. Coming through onto Nico Baby. Nico Baby doesn't want to go for it now as well. He's going to be slowed down. The back line sounds come through from the Death Prophet. But it looks like he's just waiting here, Kunker. Maybe waiting for a cleave. He's going to be able to step up, get that right-click off. And now Ego gets a kill onto Stone Moment. A retrograde wants to carry on going now as well. Snowball. So he's going to be able to dodge off the axe marks as far. But he's just waiting. The torrent's going to be a little bit... Just making trouble for everybody. In fact, he might be able to go. The banishment comes through. Was that Fiends? Group? It is available. There's going to be the snowball in though. Onto the SD. There's the walrus punch out, but he just puts 
Primus into a little bit of danger. Do they have the damage to take down the Phoenix? It comes out. Illusion, that's with the Solar Guardian. Try to keep him alive with the Cleave once again. Noob's going to be taking a lot of damage, even through the BKB. And it looks like they've got the control. Can they get Noob away from this? It looks like they might still go into Stoneman. Stoneman going to be locked down with the EMP coming through now as well. They've got the reveal. They've got no mana on Stoneman. So he can't dive himself away. All the spells on cooldown anyway. And no. Aramis, Nico, baby. They're going to be going across. Invoker, Walrus Punch comes out, they get the kill. Is that his first death? It is, 7, 1, and 18. At 31 minutes into the game as well. Oh, they might find Iramis. Iramis who's trying to take back the outpost, but that's going to be a big mistake. As he gets down, Rick Drake claims the kill. I think we go any further on this. The Raw comes out, Lunin's already used the BKB, and the, it, the Eclipse was used as well to get the kill onto Ego. So that's going to be the death of Nico, baby. He has no buyback available now as well. Symmetrical, trying to get himself away. He's not going to be able to get the dive away. And now Noob, Disruption comes out. Do they have anything else to disrupt onto this? I mean, the Bane's already dead, so he's going to try and get himself away from here, Noob. But he doesn't have any remnants to jump to. He gets caught out, cleaned off. GG gets called, 33 to 10 and no monkey business they take game number one here up against alliance business i mean they're not gonna be a fan of this they say no monkey business not pick monkey king i'm less enthused about this pick now, can come through with the Nature's Grass to get the slow off. Well, an axe is now as well. So, Stoneman's going to be slowed down. The Inkswell does come through. But do they have the damage to get the kill? They are going to be able to claim first blood. Retrograde. Good start for him. Timber Chain comes through into 3 4 heroes, but do they want to carry on going onto this? Because Will and Axe is once again going to be able to turn around. Dual Breath going to be used now. Timber Chain, they're going to try and get on top of Retrograde. Retrograde going to be taking a lot of damage. He will take a fall. Nico Baby right back towards the tier 1 tower. That's Papa Tango. Are they going to be able to go? Because there's going to be some overwhelming odds here. Ego with the screen once again. They might be able to get the kill onto Aramis. He's immediately going to be turned right back down onto the Queen of Pain here. Nico Baby wants to carry on going. That Balance Strike will be up. Illusion will going to be able to get a really good impale off onto two heroes for the Balance Strike. Takes down the LC. And now Symmetrical has to run himself away. Where's that spike coming through? The Earth Spike with the Nature's Grass. But he's going to have the Timber Chain. That spike comes out one more right click. He will go down to Antaha. Damage the Nature's Grass comes out once again. Aramis is going to be able to get himself away from this. Because Retrograde with the Will and Axe is going to be able to slow him down once again. And the damage it might be enough to get the kill. It turns around with the Dual Breath. He even uses the Stick Charges to keep himself alive. But it means that he's going to be walking right here at Retrograde. Right up into the Timber Sword. Timber Sword with the Timber Chain. One more right. Oh baby. Yeah, the Jingo Mystery comes out now, so Miro has to be a little bit more careful in this lane. The Hex comes out though, I think he'll be able to go for the damage with the Inkswell. He might not be able to... No! Overwhelming odds comes through. And the Inkswell didn't stun in time, so Miro just picks up a... Uh, where's that Earth Spike? Where's the follow-up from the Queen of Pain? He's going to go. They're going to be able to maybe get that Queen of Pain coming through. Two seconds to that blink screen. Three points into this now as well. Noob has the... Uh, he has the point into the phase shift, but is he going to be able to get away? Miro gets solo killed here. No. Mero was solo and he gets killed up by Nico, baby. Illusion still chasing through, doesn't have any mana left. Antero, though, how's he looking? The stack comes through. He's going to try and contest this up against Stormwind in the top lane, though. Symmetrical again, he's just throwing the harass out. Retrograde has to back up towards his tier one. In the river, they get the kill onto Noob. Illusion with the haste. Uh, Sonic Wave maybe committed there as well. Sonic Wave was definitely committed there as well to help claim that kill. And now bottom lane, they're going to be able to get the kill onto Mero once again. They might even be able to get the kill onto Illusion. What's that balance strike? He's already used it. No Primal Spring either. It's going to be a little bit annoying for Symmetrical, but overall, Symmetrical is still going to be fine with this. In the jungle, though, Mich Nico Baby takes down Retrograde. And there's even going to be the, the Dream Call coming through onto the Dream Protector. Dream Protector tries to run himself away. Ends to it. Oh, there's going to be the Dream Call. But gets to blink away just in time here, Ego. And now they know where it is. So they're going to be able to go for the blink. There's going to be the duel coming through. Inkswell was a little bit off. Sonic Wave. They do have the damage with the finger now as well. So that's going to be a duel and a finger stack coming through for the side of No Monkey Business. They're going to try and chase down onto Stoneman. The big flips forward now as well. They get the scream off. It's going to be a lot of damage. But the Ice Path was that overwhelming odds. Eight seconds away. Not going to be able to finish. The Hex comes through onto the Timber Sword. Throwing out the Dual Breath on himself into the trees. But do they want to go? There's going to be the Dual Breath and the Ice Path. But that just means the Queen of Pain can get it here ever closer. Mero trying to run himself away. Press attack comes out. Green Call's going to be there, though. Does he want to turn around? Yeah, the damage is just going to be enough. And Symmetrical claims himself, what, a seventh kill? Sixth kill of the game. Well, Illusion. The Chakram does connect. The Will and Death now as well. Symmetrical, does he want to carry on going with his Timber Chain? Onto the line. The line's going to be caught up. Balance Strike comes in now as well from the Monkey King to finish the job. After the Primal Spring. Oh, going to be able to get the duel off. Sonic Wave comes through onto the poke. Do they have the damage to finish it off? No, the Wukong Tabana over the top. They do get the duel victory with the blink in the screen, but it's going to be an immediate return kill there. On the top lane. So if they get the jump, was the reveal. 
Marker Pyro is going to be dropped to try and clean up these creeps. The blink on the back lines now as well. Mero's going to be able to get the duel. Was it Sonic Wave? Was it damage? What are they going to be able to do here? Can they take down this Jakiro in time? They will get it off, but I don't think that was a duel victory. It wasn't. And now they take down the LC. The Wukong Command does come through. Oh, do they have the damage to get anyone? They don't have the lockdown here now as well because the Dream Call was already used. So Noob. The chase is on to Retrograde. Ego's waiting in the trees with his Sonic Wave. Is he going to try to throw this one out? Sonic Wave comes through onto two. Do they have the damage to finish off these kill now? Because he could be able to get the Ice Path down. The Lockdown Queen of Pain has to go for the Blink into the TPs for that TP away. And Antaha. Well, the trees don't hide the big man. He would have thought of everyone. He would have blended in. And I suppose he did because all the, the rest of the trees got cut down there as well. So he blended nice as the rest of the trees just got felled. Do you think they have the damage to take him down? 2.3k health and a hood. Well, it's going to be the jump onto the back lines. Mero, you'll set to come out. Are they going to be able to get the duel onto Nico? Baby finger comes through. They're not even going to be able to get the duel there. But they do get another finger kill here. Nico, baby, will go down. Symmetrical trying to get himself away. Do they want to go? If they can burst him down pretty quickly, they've already used the Sonic Wave. It's going to be the duel just to keep him locked down, but the duel not going to complete in time. If they'd done a little bit more damage, there was no rush on that duel. Um, in for the line as well. How many charges does he have on this? He's going to be able to get another one soon. Three of them already though. Level two in this as well. And the eighth lens so we can do it from a little bit further away. Oh, they might be able to get the dive. Is the Inkswell going to connect? No, and they actually might be able to get a return kill off. Where's that dive? They're going to be able to get the duel off onto the Grimstroke now as well, but there's not going to be a follow-up now because of the... He still gets it. Even with the Yules onto Retrograde, it was just long enough here that duel. So he secures the kill. He secures more dual damage. Nico, baby, trying to run himself around with the spider legs, but the BKB will be wearing off in the next couple of seconds. Is he going to be able to do anything with this? Trying to go into Illusion, but the press of the attack for the Rexy heals. Now Nico, baby, no magic immunity. He's going to try and go for the Mischief. Slowed right down here. He looks like he is going to be killed off and taken away. Four heroes dead on the side of Alliance. Do you just want to push with being pushed right up? You know, he, he can't make a move for this. So he could make a move for Nico, baby. This blink it's going to be the silence off. The duel comes through. He's not going to be able to get the BKB. Do they have the damage? Was that Sonic Wave? Was that damage? It is still going to complete here. And Mero picks up a really, another, a really nice duel with Retrograde getting the kill. Aramis through the trees. Yule Scepter comes out. Mero asking for the high five. Ice Path going to be off the mark. And yeah, the jump in from Igor. Press the attack. The, the Holy Locket. Oh, jump onto the back lines. Who have they found? Nico, baby. He's going to be able to get that duel. No, nope, the duel comes in. We have the lockdown from Ego. Are they going to be able to do enough damage to take Nico, baby, down now as well? It looks like Nico, baby, is going to try and heal up, but he still gets taken down 74 seconds without the Monkey King. And it looks like they've slain Sonic Wave. Comes through onto the Timbersaw. Timbersaw trying to get himself up, but the finger comes through. They get the kill onto Jikiro now as well. Three heroes by him back. I mean, I know there's only a couple of hours left until the battle pass goes away, but I don't think it, it counts in private lobbies for those Aghanim schools. And GG just gets called. Alliance, no way back into this after.